Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, new video. So in our previous two videos we have discussed uh, we have uh, in uh, module 3 we have discussed two important properties of DFTs in uh, our previous videos. One is circular time shift property and we have seen one example and also circular frequency shift property also we have seen uh, one uh, example problem how to solve those problems you have seen it those who have not seen that, that videos please go and watch that video because those problems are very important so in this session i am going to solve i have two questions for you guys okay two very important questions and very tricky questions okay these kind of questions would be appearing for around six to seven marks uh, in the exam okay so let us see that question and uh, without wasting much time, let us solve those two questions. Okay. So first question is consider a finite length sequence of x of n, which I have given it as a four point DFT x of n is equal to one, three by four, one by two and one by four. Okay. This is a four point DFT of x of n. Uh, the four point DFT of x of n is x of k. Plot the sequence y of n. If they have given this relation, that is y of k is equal to uh, w to the power 3k with the base 4 okay into x of k so what is this term uh, how to solve these kind of problems i am going to tell you now very easy nothing much to do first thing you should be remembering what is w w which i have already told you in my previous uh, while doing the dfts idfts and all the formula for w is equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi by n right this is w basically right now they have given one relation here what is that relation y of k is equal to w to the power 3k to the base 4 into x of k using this relation we should be finding y of n and you should be plotting the sequence of y of n okay that plotting is very easy we should be finding y of n by using this relation what we should be doing is Nothing much to do, the value of w here, substitute it and write it in this form that is e power minus j 2 pi by n, where the value of n in this case is equal to 4, is equal to 4, which 4 we should be considering, not the sequence which they have given here, okay. The 4, how we should be considering is, here uh, the value of here, this is a standard way to write this is w to the base n to the power anything okay so this is the standard way in this what is the value of n right all along with that the length of the sequence should be equal so in this particular question the length of the sequence is also 4 and also the relation given here is in this the value of n is equal to 4 okay so this problem would be easy to solve but i have one more question now in the second question in that the length of the sequence is different and here the value of n is different so how to solve those problems right we should be making those two sequences equal by how to make it equal i'm going to tell you in that next problem first this problem is very straightforward the value of n is 4 so now uh, try to substitute it that is y of k is equal to in place of w we write e power minus j 2 pi into 3k okay divided by 4 the length of the sequence is n is 4 right into x of k now y of k you write it as e power minus j 2 pi k into 3 divided by 4 into x of k okay so now if you observe this equation very carefully and you compare with it with the property which you have discussed one property we have discussed that is x of n minus m is equal to x of k e to the power minus j 2 pi k m by n if you observe which property is this this is basically circular time shift property which I have discussed and if you compare this with this equation you can observe that in place of m we have 3 and in place of n we have 4 so how we can uh, find the value of y of n is simply nothing much to do just apply this property so what would be our value of y of n that would be equal to just we are changing from uh, the uh, free, uh, frequency domain to time domain by using circular time shift property we are shifting from frequency to time okay in order to find the value of y of n since they have, in the question they have given to find the value of y of n 
So using this property, the value of m is equal to 3. So here what we are getting x of n minus m, right? So x of n minus in place of m, what we have 3. Okay. How we have because in the power they have given 3k. What I have just done is I have written first k and the number I have written it separately. So that in place of uh, that number it is uh, m is equal to 3. So x of n minus 3. So this is the relation which we obtain. y of n is equal to x of n minus 3. Now what is the sequence y of n? Here they have mentioned x of n minus 3. y of n is equal to x of n minus 3. They have already given the value of x of n in the question that is 1, 3 by 4, 1 by 2, 1 by 4. Now x of n minus 3 stands for shifting uh, the n minus shifting the sequence x of n backwards 3 times. Okay, that is nothing. So if this is x of n, that is 1, 3 by 4, 1 by 2, 1 by 4. So this is basically x of n, right? Now what would be x of n minus 1 that is shifting once that is this would be coming first that is 1 by 4 would be coming first then all the terms as it is that is 1 3 by 4 1 by 2 this is for one shift x of n minus 1 now x of n minus 2 shifting 2 times that is now 1 by 2 would be coming first 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 3 by 4. This is shifting 2 times. Now n minus 3 that is shifting 3 times. That is first 3 by 4 would be coming first. Then 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1. So this is the sequence x of n minus 3. That is equal to y of n. Okay. So what would be our final answer of y of n? Since we have got the relation y of n is equal to x of n minus 3. So here we got what is x of n minus 3 after shifting 3 times backwards y of n is equal to 3 by 4, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1. Okay. Now by using the property circular time shift, we have solved this question here. This would be appearing for 6 marks, the sequence y of n. Now we should be plotting this sequence. Plotting is very easy, nothing much to do. Why We should be plotting y of n versus n. Okay. This is 0. So the n values uh, vary from 0, 1, 2, 3, right? This is y of 0, 1, 2, 3. So 1. 2, 3. So here let us mark uh, 4 points. 1 is 0.25 that stands for 1 by 4. 0.5 is half. 0.75 is 3 by 4 and 1 is 1. So what is first value of y of 0 is equal to 3 by 4. 0.75. Next is 1 by 2. 0.5. Next is 1 by 4 that is 0.25 for n equal to 2. For n equal to 3 it is 1. So this is the plot of y of n. Okay. So hope you understood this problem how to solve. This was when the sequence length and also the base here they have given it when it is same it is straightforward to solve. No much change. So now in the next problem we are uh, we are going to deal with the length of the sequence is different and here the base value is different. How to make it equal and solve it let us see in the next problem. So yeah this is the next question here. Here, the, uh, we should be finding the sequence s of n where they have given the sequence x of n as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And they have given one relation s of k is equal to w to the power k to the base 2 into x of k. Okay. Here, the length of the sequence we should be considering that should be equal to n is equal to 6 here because in the question they have given it as x of n is equal to 6 point dft okay but here in place of n we have 2 so how to solve this kind of problem very easy what to do is first in place of omega or w or you know that what is w is equal to e power minus j 2 pi by n right okay so let us first solve that that is x s of k is equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi into k divided by in this case here in the value of n is 2 so let, let us write here 2 uh, because here we have 2 right so but here the length of the sequence is actually 6 
So how we can make this denominator as 6? Nothing much to do. If you multiply and divide by 3, we can, we, we can say that 2 3s are 6. So our goal here is, after substituting the value of w, here if the length of the sequence and here the values are not matching, we should be making them equal. That is, we should be making this 2 6. How to make 2 to 6? If we multiply 2 with 3, that would be equal to 6, right? But we cannot directly multiply to the denominator 3 because that's not mathematics. So in order to make it uh, without uh, uh, changing any uh, terms, how simply we can make it equal? That is by multiplying and dividing by 3. So what now it would be? S of k would be equal to e power minus j 2 pi k into 3 divided by 2 3s are 6. Okay, into x of k, right. Now we have made it equal. Now the value of uh, the n uh, length of the sequence here along with the question it matches. That is equal to 6. Okay, now simply nothing much to do. Now s of n, again use the circular time shift property. Okay, which I have told you in the first question. Okay, we should be recognizing which property we can be using here. Here if you observe it carefully, we have at x of k. s of k should be converting into s of n. So we should be using frequency domain to time domain. If you, want, if you want to convert, you should be using circular time shift property. Okay, so that's why s of n is equal to now x of n minus, again the value of uh, m, in this case it is 3, right? So n minus 3. So again, uh, x of n is given that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, simply do the shifting 3 times. First is for x of n minus 1. First value is 5. Then all the values as it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Next is for x of n minus 2. That is 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3. Next is x of n minus 3 which we needed. That is 3. 4, 5, 0, 1, 2. So this is the answer which you need to be obtaining for S of n. That is 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2. So this is the sequence which we required. That is S of n. Using circular time shift we have solved it. Uh, that is equal to X of n minus 3. That is shifting 3 times backwards. The last value would be coming first. Then uh, so on. We have shifted 3 times for x of n minus 3 and this is the answer we got for s of n 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2. Okay. So like this uh, some problems should be appearing for uh, around 6 marks, 5 to 6 marks. Okay. These problems should be definitely appearing. You should be knowing how to solve it. So that's all for this session guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Do uh, visit our channel and see all our videos of digital signal processing. And also we are going to do the videos related to digital communication in a short amount of time. So stay updated for that as well. Okay, first I'm, I'm completing this DSP first, then I'm going to start with the digital communication. So yeah, that's all for this session. Thank you.